So here's a video series I've been working on in my head since 2013 and 2014. I've also been writing down notes because this is a video series about all the lessons I've learned after being on YouTube for about a decade. And you know what? I was putting it off because I never felt knowledgeable enough on this sort of thing. But I guess nobody else is as knowledgeable about this besides YouTube anyway. So what can I lose? Plus right now I'm kind of an annoyed and ranting mood. So I feel like ranting about all the junk about YouTube. That should turn people away and I think it's a good thing to say these first so you don't waste your time if you don't end up liking YouTube. The number one thing that I dislike about this job is that it's based on advertisement and advertisement is ruining the world thus YouTubers are a part of the problem and I am fully willing to agree that yes I am a part of the problem because deep down I despise advertisements. I think that advertisements are the downfall of society. I just, oh, they rub me the wrong way so, so much. And the fact that I get money from advertisements really kind of rubs me the wrong way sometimes. But then I think about it and pretty much every other company works with advertising and gets money or spends money on it. And it's not really like it's any better than other jobs, but it's still something that I find annoying. At the end of the day, a YouTuber's video is just a vehicle for some corporate asshole's mind-numbing commercial to get somebody to think about some stupid gas-guzzling SUV so other com companies and governments can wage war in other countries to take oil and make a shit ton of money from everyone. And every single advertisement feels like it chips away at the intellect of everyone who watches them, even though a lot of people are already dumb anyway. Including me. Including me. I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm above that. I'm just saying that a lot of people are dumb and I would I would put myself in that group also and I feel like we definitely don't need to have advertisements and well I guess American television just ruining us further because I do feel like YouTubers are a part of the problem just like how television channels and TV shows I guess with YouTube we do have more of an option to change how much of a problem we are I don't know it's, it's still something where it's like it kind of sucks and number two in order to become popular, you have to make the content for the normies. Pandering to the retards, the nine-year-olds, the nose-pickers, and the morons who think American television is enjoyable. The only channels that get big these days are complete and utter shit, like BuzzFeed and Watch Mojo. And that's because if you don't target the nine-year-olds and the twelve-year-olds, or the idiots who just mind-numbingly watch content for hours on end then you're not really going to get anywhere and that's one reason why and you can actually look at my channel as like an example of this because I've kind of half-assed this approach and it's obvious I could have had far more views if, if I'd given in to just making battery restoration videos and e-bike videos but I couldn't stand that grind of just making so many similar videos and I will, I will fully agree I make Oh, well, pretty much all my videos are the same style, just a different subject. So I will agree with that. I, I don't have very much variety in my editing. However, this is, I guess this is a little bit of a departure, so maybe that's a good thing. But I have mixed feelings about people who do a daily grind like that. Because I think, like, now this is just my theory, but I think that Arduino vs. Evil got really popular. In part because he was okay with just doing tool review after tool review after tool review after tool review like almost every day for years and years while I can't really stay on the same subject for very long otherwise I just feel like my mind is about to fucking explode on one side I can I can really admire that because the ability to stick to that but at, at the, on the other side I just feel like maybe it's a bit uninspired and just like sometimes I do fall, fall into the daily grind and that's usually whenever I start getting a bit burnt out like September of last year. Basically you can sell your soul to the devil and make videos for normies and little kids who have terrible taste and you might get pretty popular but if not don't expect anything because it's probably going to take you years and years to amass any like noticeable amount of an audience unless you're lucky which then I really envy you. <laughs> Number three, 
if you are on a TV show or affiliated, affiliated with any like Hollywood studio or broadcast network, then you won't get on the trending tab and just you will never get popular. This kind of goes back to number two because all of those are made for normies. They're made for people that just want something to just numb their mind and not actually challenge views or anything. And so if you are part of a network that's like well established, then you have it made for you because YouTube has been corrupted by television wanting to get into YouTube because they've realized that television, at least American television, is the dying ship, a sinking ship, blah, whatever. American television is a sinking ship and nobody really wants to watch it anymore because it's just so horrible. It's mind-numbing garbage. And then they realize, hey, wait a minute, there's all these people on YouTube and that's not mind-numbing garbage and they like watching it. So let's take our mind-numbing garbage thrust it upon YouTube and then pay YouTube a bunch of money to put our content higher up on the search results than the other people's content and also get favorable treatment for monetization. And basically what you have is you have Hollywood once again coming in, taking what they want, using their power to push other people out and ruining yet another system just like how they ruined television. They even get more control of monetization. For instance, a lot of independent YouTubers, or actually not, just like non-Hollywood, non-big company YouTubers, don't get an option for like who they get to monetize through. It's either YouTube or nobody. However, the big companies get an option. They have like actual connections that it's unfair. It is really unfair that they have that. And honestly, if you ever did get like super successful, they're going to do everything they can to cut you down. Like you see with PewDiePie. He is successful and media, the mainstream media just loves tearing into him and defaming him and everything because they're jealous and they realize that they're on a sinking ship. So if you ever do get successful, you're fucked. And overall, you're pretty much fucked anyway because you're not going to get successful. You might be able to get like a small channel like mine and actually have a little bit of income, which is nice, but don't expect anything big. Number four, if you say anything even remotely edgy or relevant, boom, demonetized. And this kind of goes back to the other thing because those networks can talk about whatever they want because they have their own monetization things set up. Whereas us average independent YouTubers can't do that. And so if we say anything relevant then we get demonetized while they can show dead bodies on screen talking about serial killers giving out their names and making other serial killers want to kill more people just to be on the news all while showing you a coca-cola ad or a bmw ad it's just fucking disgusting it's disgusting in two ways first of all it's disgusting to be able to show like oh my god look at this horrible atrocity now buy this product but it's also disgusting that the big company can do that and everybody else can't. So that's that's a bit of a problem. YouTube has already gone downhill because YouTube used to be actually pretty good about this kind of thing. Well, for the most part. I'm talking like a decade in the past. Number five, your viewers will expect you to never offend their precious feelings. And if you ever reply to a comment with anything but agreement, you're literally worse than fucking Hitler. And sometimes, even if you agree with them, they think you're just the rudest motherfucker ever. It's just so fucking stupid. No matter what you say, and now th these were these were more of silly extreme examples, but th there's many examples of sometimes I'll just reply neutrally or with facts and people just get so butthurt these days. Like back in the day, they would have been laughed off the internet, but now there's just so many people that can't take a little bit of criticism or you know what? So many people that don't understand or won't accept the fact that I don't care what they think because I don't upload videos for them. I don't upload videos for you. I upload videos for myself and kind of for my paycheck. So whenever people give me criticism, I don't have to take that criticism, especially if it's really rude. And I don't know, people are just so weird. I'd say a decade ago, people were much different. There was a bit more of a trolling attitude towards everything and maybe it's just the current climate where everybody's so in like, like almost like in a padded cell they're, they're not showing anything that offends them or whatever 
and they're just used to getting offended and angry at every little stupid thing. It's so annoying. I, I just get, oh my god, it's just so annoying. Number six, no matter what you do, your videos will amount to nothing and just serve to further clog the internet with more content. Because that's the fact. We have too much content. We have millions of sites producing garbage every single day and every YouTuber is a part of that. Okay, maybe not everyone. Like like Vsauce and Applied Science aren't part of that problem. I'd, I'd, say, I'd even say the post-apocalyptic inventor is not a part of that problem because he, they all upload really nice things and they don't upload every single day. But people like, I even say me because sometimes I will upload daily if I'm feeling really like efficient or active or motivated and I am fully aware of the fact that I'm causing the same problem that drives me mad. Whenever you search something and you can't find any good sources for it but instead you find just a mountain of videos and blogs and vlogs of other people talking about it and some of them are obviously shows where their entire jobs are just to grind out daily videos kind of like today I found out. However, I think the channel is kind of okay but oh I know D news or whatever it's called these days just mind numbing crap and you know that they're paid to pump it out every single day and because of that we can't find anything on the internet these days unless you have really good google foo which I do not I am a simpleton and yes you could say I'm a normie when it comes to doing google searches but so much content clogging the internet and most of it will never be watched after the first couple days well, that's pretty much it. If you're still interested in doing YouTube after this, well, I guess wait for the next video because I know I'm, I'll am i probably never actually end up making the next video, but I have enough content for maybe six more videos. And so eventually I hope to, I hope to get those made. Maybe in the future we can talk about some of the good things and how to, uh, what I've found to, to make things go as nicely as possible without degrading yourself by doing some of the really annoying, oh, so annoying things that a lot of YouTubers do. Like asking for subscribers. Oh, just, God, oh, so, so annoying. If I hear another person say, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe, I feel like I'm going to bash my fucking brains out. That's why I've never done that myself, because I never want to subject, subject you guys to that. Just like, Oh, so there might be another rant someday in the future. Another video series down the line of what not to do in your video series. For instance, having a time lapse where you speed up the video and you leave the audio in so it sounds like a bunch of chipmunks. That's another thing. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!